your home is more than 30 years old, it likely has asbestos. That's fine unless you remodel and then grind or sand the asbestos contained in the floor tiles, insulation, or even roofing materials and create a hazardous dust. It could eventually lead to respiratory issues, even cancer. So how to deal with asbestos safely is today's Angie's List report. Asbestos is a natural mineral. It's a good insulator and fire resistant, which is why it's still used in some building materials. If it's big enough to see, you can't breathe it. And so it's the fine dust that's produced when it's mishandled is a problem. If you have peeling plaster or drywall, or if you plan a project that requires grinding, sanding, or sawing that will produce dust, you should have those materials tested for asbestos. As long as the asbestos is intact, as we talked about earlier, not a big problem. But you got a little leakage from the upstairs bathroom and the stuff is kind of peeling off and all, that could be serious. Before the project starts, find a qualified asbestos inspector. The county or state health department may be able to help you. Many states require that inspection companies be licensed. Also, it's not a bad idea to find out if they're also lead paint certified because that requires similar training and tools. Before work begins, ask your pro how the dust will be confined to the work area and separate from the rest of your home. Leonard recommends a direct approach. I want to make sure that you don't release any more dust in my home than what you would do if they were using their lead based paint. And you do that, and you'll be safe. Now, experts recommend sealing off the entire work area with plastic sheeting and leaving the heating or air conditioning systems off when that work is being done. Once the work is complete, Angie says it's a good idea to have the air tested to make sure there aren't any microscopic asbestos fibers that are still floating around.